Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about cool sculpting and compare and contrast it a bit with liposuction. Cool sculpting is the most popular of the non-invasive fat destroying technologies out there. And it does destroy fat permanently into in an area. It's important to understand though that most of the time cool sculpting requires two, three, or even four treatments. And most of the time those additional treatments are not done at a discount. In addition, cool sculpting has a couple of unique side effects that aren't frequently talked about. One is about 1% or half percent of the time, there'll be an increase in the fat in the area that will require liposuction to correct. It's a consistent problem. It's been found since the beginning of cool sculpting and it has not gone away. Another problem is long-term pain in the area, very much like if you've ever had your hands real cold and they start to warm up and hurt. And that can persist for several months and can be difficult to treat. Liposuction, on the other hand, doesn't have these kind of side effects. You can't, you can't increase fat from having done it, and you don't have a persistent pain problem afterwards. Liposuction also is capable of removing quite a bit more material, and the fat's actually removed from the body. With cool sculpting, although the fat cells are destroyed, the fat itself goes to your liver, is reprocessed, and then put elsewhere in your body. So for those that need a little reduction, and really want to have minimal or no downtime, cool sculpting could be a good choice. Be careful that you watch your pricing though because it can fool you if you happen to do three or four treatments. Also remember that you're keeping the fat, it's just moving, and that you have a limited amount that you can do. Beware of those long-term side effects as well. Liposuction is the gold standard in body shaping and nothing cool sculpting has done has been able to change that.